Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using dictionaries in Python. Now, a dictionary is a special structure in Python which allows us to store information in what are called key value pairs. So essentially, I can just create a bunch of these different key value pairs, and then when I want to access a specific piece of information inside of the dictionary, I can just refer to it by its key. So the word dictionary is actually pretty appropriate here. If you guys are familiar with a normal dictionary, um, you know, in a normal dictionary, you'd have a word and then you'd have a definition associated to that word. So in this situation, the word would be the key. In other words, the word is what like uniquely identifies it inside of the dictionary. And then the value would be the actual definition. So this is going to make more sense once we start working with this. but. I just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction. So in this tutorial, I want to create a little program that will allow us to convert a three digit month name into the full month name. So I could convert, for example, like J A N to January, or I could convert M A R into March. Like I want to be able to have a program that can do that for us. And that's actually a pretty good use case for a dictionary. So, we're actually going to create a dictionary and I'm going to show you guys how we can do that. So the first thing we need to do in creating a dictionary is just give it a name. So I want to give this a specific name. So I'm just going to call this month conversions. And now I just want to set this equal to an open and closed curly bracket. So whenever we create a dictionary in Python, we're always going to want to create it inside of these open and closed curly brackets. And so inside of the dictionary, now we can just start defining what are called key value pairs. So I can define a key and then I can give it a corresponding value. And the way that we can do that is just by typing out the key and then typing out the value. So in our case, we're converting three digit month names into the full month names. So I would want to type out, for example, J A N and then I can type a colon and I want to type out the value I want to associate with it. So we could say January. I could basically do this for every combination. So I could say like FEB and this would be February. And actually after each one of these, we're going to need to put a comma. So I could do the same for March. So we could say MAR. So essentially what I can do is I can specify an entry inside of this dictionary for each one of these. So this over here would be the key and this over here would be the value. And here's one thing is all of these keys have to be unique. So if I was to come down here and change this to J A N, this is actually going to give us a little warning. So you can see down here, it says dictionary contains duplicate keys. That's a no, no when we're creating dictionaries. So you always want to make sure that the keys are unique. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create one of these for each one of the months and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. All right, so I've gone ahead and created an entry for all 12 of the months. So now we have a bunch of unique keys and each one of those keys is associated with a different value. So this is the basics of creating a dictionary is we have a bunch of these different key value pairs. And now what we can actually do is we can access them from inside of this dictionary. So if I wanted to access a specific key or a specific value, all I have to do is come over here and I'm actually just going to print it out onto the screen so we can see it. All I have to do is refer to the dictionary by name. So it's just called month conversions. And there's actually a bunch of different ways that I can access these month names. So, um, I could access different entries inside of this dictionary. The first way is just by making a open and close square bracket. And inside here, I can just type in one of the keys. So for example, inside here, I could type in N O V. And what this should do is it should give us back the full name for November. So when I print this out, you'll see that we get back down here, November. So I could do the same thing for, you know, any of these, we could say like M A R and now we should get March back. So I'm able to refer to the key and it's going to go into the dictionary and it's going to give me the value that's associated to that key. There's actually another way we could do this too. So I could say month conversions dot get, 
And inside of here, I could also pass in the name of a key. So I could pass in like DEC, and now we'll be printing out December. And what's cool about using this get function is I can actually specify a default value that I wanna use if this key is not found. So there's gonna be certain cases when we're dealing with dictionaries where you're gonna put in a key that might not necessarily map to a value inside of the dictionary. So you'd put in an invalid key. So let's just try to do that. So I'll just put like LUV, that's not a month abbreviation. So when I try to run this, you'll see we get this none down here. And in a lot of cases, you're gonna want to create some sort of a default value. So if I'm in this situation where I have a key that's not mappable to any values inside of this dictionary, I can actually pass it a default value. So inside this dot get function, I can make a comma, and now I can pass in like a default value to get printed out. So I can say like not a valid key. And now, when I put in the invalid key, instead of saying none, it's gonna go ahead and say not a valid key. So this is gonna give us like a default value that we can fall back on. So these dictionaries are really awesome and the keys over here don't have to be strings. So you could also use numbers. So for example, I could say like zero, one, 10, like I can put any numbers I want over here as keys as long as they're unique. And then I could access those keys just like I normally would down here uh, with this get function or with those open and close square brackets. So that's sort of the basics of using dictionaries. They can be really useful to store key value pairs. And honestly, you're gonna be using them a lot in Python to store different types of data. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.